protests are making changes. Standing on the stage at Cesar Chavez Plaza, Shantania Love told the crowd the fight for justice is not over. We have to keep going. We have to keep going. Love says she was protesting peacefully when she was hit in the face with a rubber bullet by a law enforcement officer, likely leaving her blind in one eye. Hundreds of people gathered in Cesar Chavez Plaza today to support her, demanding justice. It's overwhelming. When uh, she put it together, I didn't think that there was going to be as many people out here. So it was overwhelming, but it's also inspiring, very inspiring. Earlier, protesters marched for Breonna Taylor, a 26-year-old black woman who was shot and killed by police in Kentucky earlier this year. Taylor was in her bed when she was shot. The investigation remains open. Enough is enough. They can't have a license to kill us, you know, a license to drag us down the street, a license to shoot us in our home. You know, she's in her bed, she sleeps, she gets shot. Deborah Hunter has three sons. She says the justice system needs to change. We can all be here and a police officer shoot him, shoot someone. We go to court, he's acquitted. Enough is enough. Our lives are worth more than anybody else's life. Others called for unity as a way to create change. Have everybody be inclusive no matter what your demographic is. The more we unify as a people, the more we have a chance to step up and actually create a revolutionary change. Emily Maha, KCRA 3 News.